we just finished installing the starling kit and there's a few modifications that we had to do because for example this is the base finally i have received my starling kit so first time Ugh. so that's how the packaging is so let's see what they have producing an offensive This is the moment of truth. Did I waste my money investing in a Starlink internet kit? What speeds am I going to be dealing with? Vushe, is it even worth it? So find out more as you continue watching this episode. So yeah, Dambeni Pagakuma last. I finally received the Starlink uh, kit. And I'm looking forward to switching because we've got lousy internet here in Zambia. So... This is the first time I'm ever, ever receiving such a package. And, uh, you know, I'm very impressed with how long it took them. And uh, the whole process was very, very easy. And, uh, you know, I wasn't scammed. And this is not really a scam. So we're going to be testing the kit out. I'm really looking forward to uh, finding out the upload speed, the download speed, and just basically the whole installation process. And I'm going to be giving you my analysis of this whole entire process and uh, yeah i can't wait to to have good internet finally so first time Ugh. so that's how the packaging is so let's see what they have so we've got this thingy this thing as well but this thing and the Obviously, pretty good. I'm a shiny. Nothing shifty, nothing drifty. Okay, what else do we have? We don't even know the names of these things. We're just learning. Plus, we we've got the installation manual. This one is going to obviously come in handy because I'm going to be installing everything by myself and uh, yeah there's a few gadgets that i'm going to be able to attach towards this particular whole set because so we need to extend and do some engineering uh you know calculations <laughs> so yeah let's see thank god they came with uh, a zambian adapter because sometimes well to me if you have to eu then you have to go for a converter and an adapter that works with our Zambian setup. So yeah, this is pretty good. And how how long is this? Uh, trying to look at the, the cable. Now this cable should be approximately I don't know, it's looking like it's more than eight meters. So we'll see. So when I extend it, I'll definitely let you know. We just finished uh, installing the Starlink uh, on the wall mount and uh, this is the base that it comes with. Now this one is not very practical especially here uh, uh, you know because you can't really mount this on the roof because you're going to end up really drilling a whole lot of uh, you know holes and this is one of the reasons why we had to make a customized wall bracket that is going to end up so so supporting the Starlink. As you can see here there's quite a few modifications that you need to make in order for you to like replace it so we did that and uh, everything was done properly so i'm going to be giving you my review and we're going to be testing out the speed because the speed is what everybody's looking for and i'm going to be comparing that with our local network providers the other thing that i forgot to mention is the starlink kit doesn't come with an it uh, an ethernet port so as you can see this is like a regular router right so you're able to redistribute your connection by sort of uh, you know plugging into your internet device but in this particular case right the starlink doesn't come with any other extra ethernet port so you have to buy it separate now this is very important in order for you to sort of uh, redistribute your range and your connection because at times you know the wi-fi range is affected by 
you know, a lot of obstructions such as, uh, you know, wars and just any other basic obstruction. So this is one of the reasons why you would want to extend your range. So this is one of the reasons why getting that Ethernet uh, adapter, you know, Starlink Ethernet adapter is going to be very helpful. And it's really going to help you redistribute your connection in a very efficient way. So Manje, I'm a little bit confused here because we've got two categories, the Wi-Fi speed and the Starlink speed. According to the Wi-Fi speed, right, we've got about 172 Mbps as a download speed, while, uh, you know, 234 Mbps is the upload speed. In the meantime, there's also this other part, the Starlink speed, which is around 78 Mbps and 3.3 Mbps as the upload speed. So which one is which here? I'm a little bit confused. So let me use something else and see what we actually have. So this app is called uh, Speed Test. Well, it's actually a website, speedtest.net, and they happen to have an app. So I downloaded the app and I wanted to see what range of speed I'm going to be dealing with. So as you can see, this is real time. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. It's above 100 Mbps. And, uh, you know, that's pretty decent. That's pretty fair. And I think we are tapping out right over here so the download speed was 100 and 147 mbps okay and by the way have you noticed that it's showing me telecoms networks malawi as if i'm in malawi so i guess this is probably one of the the starlink uh satellites that the the the, the kit is connected to so as you can see we obtained 147 download mbps while we had 7.92 upload mbps now this could be very deceptive because we're not really connected directly to a router which is connected to an ethernet adapter if i can put it that way so yeah uh big man i'm still not satisfied so anyway let's go back to the starlink app and let's just retest and see what they're going to give us because the speed is always fluctuating okay so according to the starlink uh, actual app right this is not really the advanced speed test it's giving me 82 mbps and the upload speed is roughly around uh, 16 mbps hey big man i'm a little bit disappointed okay let me explain you see I'm a little bit entitled and uh, I'm spoiled because I have had the privilege of using Outra supersonic fast uh, internet. I've used uh, internet which is which has got 100 Mbps as the upload speed and even, uh, you know, 300 Mbps as a download speed. So I was under the impression that Elon Musk would obviously be delivering this. But, uh, you know, what I'm thinking is maybe I'm just not doing it right. Maybe I'm a little bit... Uh, uh, naive when it comes to the connection etc so as time goes on by i'm probably going to perfect uh you know my connection and i really believe that that ethernet adapter is really going to make a big difference however the current speeds are absolutely far better than any local provider that we have i'm just a little bit disappointed on the upload speed because i really rely on the internet for a lot of stuff i really upload a lot of data to the internet and this is where my work revolves so to me upload speed really does matter so now let's check out our local network providers as you can see this is mtn and they have roughly around 77 mbps as a download speed while the upload speed is around 14 mbps so in comparison to starlink honestly i mean for me i mean this is very subjective it depends on what type of user you are my work revolves around the internet i really spend a lot of time you know doing work over the internet uploading data down loading data so to me i really need uncapped type of bandwidth but most of our local network providers usually give you a capped uh, bandwidth and if you look at the speed the upload and the download speed there isn't like a lot of consistency right there so for me it is really justifiable because i usually live and work on the internet but for you if you just happen to be like a casual user user of the internet I guess you don't really need Starlink, but for me, it's really a must because my work revolves around the internet. This is where 100% of my money is made and I definitely need to have reliable internet. So this is one of the reasons why I decided to plunge, uh, well, to take the plunge and just basically get, uh, you know, Starlink. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think according to these results that I'm getting, and by the way, this is the first time set up, obviously with time, I'm going to improve and tweak it and it's going to be way better. So let me know, do you think this is a justifiable uh, expenditure of money or not? Let me know in the comment section below and 
show me your speeds according to your respective towns in Zambia. So you can show us your download and your upload speeds wherever you stay within Zambia so that we can compare and contrast. So thank you. Follow us on Z Corner. I am Muna, a.k.a. Z Corner. Talk to you guys a little bit be- uh, a little bit later. Be blessed. Can't even talk. Be blessed and have a great day.